Hi, I'm Christina and today I'm talking about my Reading Around the United States of America challenge. So I am also doing the Reading Around the World challenge and I will link that video down below just in case that one is of interest to you too. So I started both of these challenges in 2020, which is the same year that I started this channel. So this is my fourth year update. Now I started these challenges because I thought it'd be a really fun and interesting way to guide my reading and I also wanted to encourage myself to read more diversely. Now I am absolutely okay with the fact that both of these challenges are going to take me years and years and years and there is absolutely no rush at all. So out of the 50 states in America, I have read from 14 states and I have a little visual representation for you as well. So this is just a nice coloured map of all the places that I've read from so far. So I thought I would just quickly run through all the states where authors have been born from books I have read and then tell you um, which books they are just in case you're trying to do this challenge yourself. So I have read from, and I'm going to read from a list so I don't forget, I've read from Alaska, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Georgia, Maryland, Massachusetts, Montana, New Jersey, New York, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, Texas, and also from Washington DC. So I'm just going to quickly run through the different books I have read from those different states and I'm very much going to try and only recommend books I have personally really, really enjoyed um, unless there is one <laughs> where I didn't very much enjoy the book but it's the only book I've read um, from that state in particular. So starting with Alaska. I have read Everyone Dies Famous in a Small Town by Bonnie Sue Hitchcock, which is a really, really good book. It's kind of a contemporary literary fiction book and it has short stories kind of running through it. It has that kind of effect. And I've also read another book by Bonnie Sue Hitchcock, but not in the last four years. And that one was called The Smell of Other People's Houses. And I absolutely love that one too. She's a brilliant, brilliant author. And yeah, if you're trying to read a book by an Alaskan author, highly recommend Bonnie Sue Hitchcock. She writes so, so beautifully. So the next one is California. And my favourite book <laughs> by an author who is from California is Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir. I think this is one of the best science fiction books I have ever read in my entire life. I absolutely love this book. He is also the author of The Martian, um, which I haven't read, but I have seen the movie and I absolutely love that movie too. So yeah, genuinely one of the best science fiction books I've ever read. It's kind of science fiction, but with an actual heart and just brilliant characters, brilliant character development. I just, I just love that book so much. So yeah, Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir, if you're looking to read a book from by Californian author. So the next one is Colorado. And I have two here that I really, really enjoyed. So Dark Age by Pierce Brown. And I have actually read obviously all the other books in the series, but not in the last four years. So that is the Red Rising series by him, which is a really good science fiction series. And it's about people who are put into society in terms of colour. So we have the golds at the very top, all the way down to the reds. And it's a very kind of political take on science fiction. Really, really enjoyed it. And another great book by an author from Colorado is Notes on an Execution by Dania Kakafka. That is a brilliant, very, very difficult to read, very hard hitting story. And it is about a man who is on death row and he's counting the hours down until the time of his execution. And we see the perspective from three different women in his life. Very hard hitting. I genuinely found it very difficult to read at times. Um, and I was kind of glad when it was over, but it's also a brilliant book and I'd highly recommend it. So moving on to Connecticut 
and I did enjoy this book but not loads and loads is The Ballads of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins and obviously this is part of the Hunger Games series which I've obviously read but not in the last four years so can't include it in this challenge and um, it was nice to see the backstory of the main villain didn't probably give me everything I really wanted but I did enjoy it which is why I'm gonna still recommend it so moving on to Georgia I have two books from this state I have Where the Crow Does Sing by Delia Owens and I think this is a brilliant book I didn't like it so much when I first read it um, it took me a little bit of time to get into it but when I did get into it I think it's brilliant and when I watched the movie adaptation I absolutely love that one too so I would highly recommend that book that one is about a young girl who has a really difficult family life and is accused of murder and we follow her throughout her life from her childhood and she's called the marsh girl and she does live in the marsh and yeah brilliant brilliant book really enjoyed it so another book that i can recommend from an author from the state of georgia is an american marriage by tiari jones so this is another book which is set about a man who is in prison and this one is about a man and a wife and the husband is going to jail and basically just following how this massive life event is going to affect their relationship and it's very well written again I thought it was very hard hitting so moving on to the state of Maryland and I have one author here who I can recommend so many books from and that is Taylor Jenkins Reid so I must have read quite a few of her books by now and I would highly recommend all of them so I've read Carrie Soto is back Malibu Rising Daisy Jones and the Six the Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo and One True Loves and I would highly recommend all of them. She just writes such brilliant characters, her writing is brilliant and every single book that she writes seems to make me cry. I always feel so emotionally connected to her characters, I think she's a brilliant author. I just love her books and I would highly recommend any of those ones I've just listed by her. So moving on to the state of Massachusetts, I actually didn't really like this book but it's the only book that I've actually read from an author from this state so I have to include it and it's called What She Found in the Woods and I think it was kind of okay and it was kind of forgettable for me so I'm just going to move swiftly on and hopefully I will read some more brilliant books by authors from Massachusetts. So moving on to the next state is Montana and the book I have for this is Plain Bad Heroines by Emily M. Danforth. Now I thought this one, it was good, I enjoyed it but it's, it's not an all-time favourite but I definitely think it's still worth a read and it's about, it's kind of a little bit of a horror and it's kind of like a book within a book. So this novel is being adapted into the movie and we're following the actresses who are adapting the movie and we're also following the person who wrote the book and I didn't absolutely love it and a little bit spit and now a little bit forgettable for me but still worth a read and again I think it's the only book that I've read um, from an author from Montana so moving on to New Jersey and I have A Knight of the Seven Kingdoms by George R. R. Martin and I have read all of the books in the A Game of Thrones, what's it actually called? Ooh, A Song of Ice and Fire. <laughs> I have read all the books in A Song of Ice and Fire series. This is the only one that I've read within the last four years and I did enjoy it. Don't think it's as good as the main series but I do think it's worth a read if you are a fan of his work already. Uh, moving on to New York and I have so many books written by authors who are from New York so many brilliant books but I've narrowed it down to just two and the first of which is Scythe by Neil Shusterman I have read the first two books in that series and I still need to read The Toll it's a really good YA science fiction series and it's set in a world where death doesn't exist so essentially they have solved every illness every disease 
and everybody can live essentially forever but of course they need to have some kind of population control we can't have everybody living forever which means they throw in a organization and they are scythes and they go around and it's their job to kill people a specific number of people and that's how they control the population and i really enjoyed it and i really must <laughs> finish that series soon so another book from an author from new york is ask again yes by mary beth keen and i thought this was such a good book i really really enjoyed it it's a kind of really well written contemporary novel a little bit literary fiction and yeah it was really good so moving on to the next state and that is north carolina and the book i have for that that i think is the best is recursion by blake crouch so this is another science fiction book that i think is one of the best science fiction books i've ever read and this is a well i don't want to tell you exactly what kind of science fiction it is i'm not going to say that it's a really good science fiction novel and again another science fiction novel with a lot of heart i love these characters i thought it was so interesting i was so so invested such a good book so moving on to pennsylvania and i have our missing hearts by celeste ing now i have read all of her other books but not within the last four years so i kind of can't include them in this challenge but i um, have read them too little fires everywhere and everything i never told you i would say and um, they are my some of my absolute favorite books of all time i did enjoy our missing hearts but not quite as much as little fires everywhere and everything i never told you they are genuinely some of my favorite books of all time and this was a good read but it wasn't quite on the same level but i would still recommend it and then moving on to the state of texas I have a book that I actually really didn't enjoy at all, but it's the only book that I've read from an author who is from Texas, so I had to include it, and that is The Book Eaters by Sun Yi Dean, and that is about a group of people, a race of people who eat books, and that's what they consume, as in they don't consume food, they consume books, and you can immediately gain all of the knowledge in the book once you've eaten it. I thought it was such an interesting concept. I love the premise of it, but the actual execution of it fell a little bit flat for me. And then finally, I've also got Washington DC that I've read a book from. And again, unfortunately, this is another case where I didn't enjoy the book, but it's the only book I've ever read in the last four years by an author from this state. So it is Sundial by Katrina Ward, Katrina Ward, and I actually, I actually really didn't like this book at all, um, and I wouldn't recommend it. It's a horror novel, um, I didn't like it, I'm not going to recommend it, but it does count <laughs> towards my reading around the United States of America challenge. So yeah, there we go. I have read a total of 14 of the 50 states, and just once again, just to quickly show you the map. I'm definitely doing a lot better on this side and um, kind of got a few over here as you can see I've got a massive area where I haven't read any from and are doing quite well up here I would say so yes if you have any recommendations of books written by authors from any of the states that I haven't mentioned obviously the other 36 states then please do leave them down in the comments below. I'd absolutely love to hear your recommendations. So thank you so much for watching. Please do like the video if you've liked it and please do subscribe if you like to hear more of me talking about books. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.